The other thing that's happening in your life, which is a big event that Roby is um, helping organize for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County, is this big awards event tonight. Yes, so tonight at Opalm Beach, uh, we're having the Youth of the Year Award, where there are seven candidates Mm -hmm. for representing seven different Boys and Girls Clubs across the county, all of them getting four-year scholarships already, which is amazing. Uh, This is the best program that really demonstrates what the Boys and Girls Clubs really can do to help teens really kind of uh, focus on life after high school and get them on the right path. So with us this morning, I wanted to bring in someone who's an awesome example as to what the Boys and Girls Clubs can do and with the Youth of the Year is uh, Jacinthia Nonar, and she was Youth of the Year in 2017. Here's her story. Jacinthia Nonar describes herself as a rose that grew from the crack in the concrete. She's an extraordinary young woman raised in Belle Glade. The Boys and Girls Club gave her the strength to dream big and the know-how to achieve her lofty goals. In 2017, Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County named her Youth of the Year, awarding her a college scholarship. Today, she's thriving as a successful junior at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Jacinthia has not only grown to be a rose from Belglade, she's a budding example as to how determination and guidance can allow a young life to blossom. <laughs> All right, let's give Jacinthia. it up for Jacinthia. And her parents, her parents are also are here, here today. Yeah. So that is amazing. So Jacinthia, so you're in Howard University from Belglade. What has it been like to make that transition? Um, okay, in general, making the transition from being a high school student in college was hard, but being from such a small town and transitioning to such a large city, I think made it even harder because where I'm from, everything doesn't move as fast. There's not as many people, <laughs> right. there's not as much noise. So just getting used to everything that comes with the city as well as getting used to the, the school life balance because I don't have a job. But the school life balance of being in school and just having, trying to have a social life. So what do you want to do after after college? Do you have any idea? That's a great question. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to yeah. do yet. But I do know that I'm a marketing major right now. And I oh, recently awesome. changed from management. So I, knew, I know that I want to um, eventually work for a Fortune 500 company. But entrepreneurship is always the end goal. Yeah. So how has the Boys and Girls Club really impacted your life and the Youth of the Year scholarship? Okay, so I I have been in the Boys and Girls Club from kindergarten to my senior year in high school. So I was literally there every day after school. And they really just made me to this person that believed in myself, that knew that I could do anything that I wanted to do if I put my mind into it. They, they shaped me into a person that was determined. They made me a leader. And they just gave me so many skills, like, including public speaking skills, to make sure that I would be like ready for life. And the scholarship... Like, without that scholarship, I would have a balance, and I wouldn't be able to go back to school. So getting that scholarship from the Boys and Girls Club was just a, really a blessing in my life, and it allows me to continue my education. Well, congratulations, congratulations. and we're so glad you're doing Amazing. well. And tonight is the big 2020 yes. Youth of the Year who will be announced at the event that Jacinthia is speaking at. Thank you, yeah. Jacinthia. Thank you so much.